everyone this is Jay Kalpana here in this video we are going to solve the given differential equation so let's get going problem solve dy by dx plus y into cos x equals to sin x cos x solution given differential equation dy by dx plus y cos x equals to sin x into cos x or sin x cos x which is in or which is linear in y. We know that the standard form of a linear equation in y is dy by dx plus p into y equals to q right so here the quotient of dy by dx is 1 right fine so by comparing these two we can say that the given equation is in linear form also we'll get p and q simply by comparing these two equations we'll get p and q where P equals to cos x and Q equals to sin x cos x. Now we need to find integrating factor. Okay. We know that the integrating factor of linear equation y is given by e power integral dx is equals to e power integral for p cos x dx is equals to e power integral cos x dx is sin x right so we have integrating factor E power sin x. Now we need to find the general solution. This is our q and cos x is our p. Now we need to find the general solution to the given equation. We know that the general solution Of linear equation in P, sorry, of linear equation in Y is given by Y into integrating factor equals to integral Q into integrating factor into dx plus C. Okay, so using this formula, we'll find the general solution to the given equation. The general solution to the given equation is y into integrating factor e power sin x equals to integral q. See here p and q are functions of x. Okay. For q equals to sin x into cos x into integrating factor e power sin x into dx plus c. Now we need to evaluate this integral, right? Let sin x equals to t. Now differentiate on both sides with respect to x. Then we will get derivative of sin x is cos x equals to dt by dx. Then cos x into dx or cos x dx equals to dt. 
Now we can replace cos x dx by dt and sin x by t. Let's write the integrand as sin x into e power sin x into cos x dx plus c. Now let's replace sin x. Put sin x equals to t and cos x dx equals to dt. Then this becomes integral t e power t cos x dx can be replaced by dt plus c. In order to evaluate the, uh, this integral, we'll use Bernoulli's formula. Integral u dv equals to uv minus u dash v1 plus u double dash v2 minus u triple dash v3 plus so on. Okay. So now, use I let rule. To find first and second function. Okay. A comes first. Algebra comes first, right? So here T will be our first function. And exponential comes next. So this will be our second function. Alright. Now let u equals to t and the remaining be dv dv equals to e power t into dt now let's find the derivative of u u dash equals to derivative of t with respect to t is 1 u double dash equals to 0 derivative of a constant with respect to x with respect to t is 0, not x, with respect to t is 0, right? So here, since u double dash is 0, so we neglect all the terms from here. Now we need to find v and v1. In order to get v, we'll integrate this on both sides. And you'll get v equals to integral e power t dt is e power t. Now find v1, integral of v will be of v1, that is integral e power t dt equals to e power t. So this equals to, okay, integral u into dv, this is our dv and this is your u, okay, integral u into dv equals to uv. That is t into e power t minus u dash 1 into v1 is e power t plus this constant. Okay. So we have y into e power sin x equals to t e power t minus 1 into e power t is e power t plus c. Now put t equals to sin x. Then this becomes y into e power sin x equals to sin x into e power sin x minus e power sin x plus c. You can take e power sin x common from these two terms and you get e power sin x times sin x minus 1 plus c. Then you can take this e power sin x to RHS. You get RHS by e power 
sin x. Since we are having one, two, two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator, so we can split this into two terms and we get e power sin x times sin x minus one by e power sin x plus c by e power sin x. e power sin x gets cancelled and you will get y equals to sin x minus 1 plus c by e power sin x which is the required general solution or, or the previous term y times e power sin x equals to e power sin x times sin x minus 1 plus c is the required general solution. So this completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from linear equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see in the next video. Until then, bye bye.